Hey guys, and welcome back to Totally Tutorials. In today's episode, we will be playing the two-player standalone game by Carl Bedej, called Summoner Summoners. In this version, there are only two factions, the Dragon Jockeys and the Dabba Dees Dabba Dies. The box comes with an array of different pieces. Two sets of faction cards, five dice or plastic number eggs, a bunch of wound tokens, gross, a real book, and you're playing failed. The real book covers a lot of the basics, and it's pretty easy to understand, but watch out for some cheeky mistakes. You control and friendly, that error of grammatics should not be of existings. First, let's set up our game. Lay out your Star Wars board on any flat surface or willing recipient. There are three stacks on each side. Draw, Magic, and Discard. Find all the Magic and Unit cards and shuffle them. You will also find your Heroes and set up cards, which will have a series of letters on their backs, much like the tramp stamps of a just turned 18 year old girl. Daddy issues. W means WOW. B means don't worry about it. Let's play the game. Okay, time to move our units and fight. Units cost magic to summon, which is magically made by magically discarding cards from your hand into the magic magic pile. Units move two spaces, or one space, and attack, or do nothing, which is what my mother did whenever I cried as a child. The number of dice needed to slay your opposing enemy battle buds is shown here in the dice circle. The health of your units is represented by the soul globes, which in turn represent the inner struggles of these deeply troubled warriors caught in a never-ending race war. Speaking of race, let's see who goes first. Unlike chess, there are no black or white people, so the person who goes first is determined by the superior player. Here's a hint, it's not this guys. <coughs> so we are the noble phalanx shelves, proud and hearty race of pasty prophets, and here is our hero. Prince Ilyanlin, proudest and most single of all the elven warmongers. His hand appears to be on the firing side, but he is not concerned. Here we find his magic abilities, and look, he has range, which is the coward's punch. So I will quickly do a match versing the evil orcs. Let's see what happens. Oh no. Guys, it appears that the evil orc warlord, Orkman, has taken all my men, and all that is left is my summoner. What will I do? Luckily, in my hand, I just happen to have the card I need. For two magic cards, I can play the magic lady card, Trickshot. So, I play my two magic cards to put it on the field. Now what Trickshot does is kill everything and makes me win. And that's how you play the game, guys. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, and I hope that it was totally helpful. Okay guys, I'll see you next time on Totally Tutorials. <laughs>